Do you find these KSJ are soldering stations, but you don't know if your soldering iron needs to be calibrated? I'll show you how to do it. Show you how to calibrate each tip, so each tip you plug in will be the correct temperature. Stick around. Now this tip was given to me by someone on my previous video doing a review for this thing. So they told me about this particular feature of how to actually use it. I knew it existed, but I just hadn't found it yet. You see here it's got JO2 with an asterisk next to it. The asterisk means it's been calibrated. Now normally if you've got a different tip which hasn't been calibrated, it will show a zero. Instead to say no calibration. Obviously I've calibrated this one already. What I'm going to do is going to go in there and I'll show you how to calibrate a tip from scratch. Now what I'm going to use is I've got my trusty little FG100 temperature probe, stick the iron on here and I'll do any calibration and whatever temperature I read on here is what's going to get put onto here All right, we'll just transfer that in and then it's as simple as that, I think there's uh, three positions you set the calibration at and then you save it against that tip, so I'm going to change tips I've, come, I've got a KU tip, so I'm going to put this one in my iron and then we'll do calibration on this tip because this one's not been done yet ok, so let's insert the tip, that's the very first thing we ask you to do it's Showing it's found it, so we're showing the wrong tip now because it's not for this tip. So I'll put it back in hold for now. So the first thing you have to do is change it to the correct tip. Wake it up first. Let's just wake. Push it turn to the right. Now you can choose which tip you want. So I'm on JLT. These are the ones which I've already got preset for ones which I've set up already own in the menu. If you haven't seen how to use the menu system and all those features, go and look at my review video. I'll probably stick a link in up the top here or be down in the description or something like that. So I've got a review on this which is quite extensive and shows all the menus and stuff like that. So I want KU which is one I've set our own, which is, there we go, so we just select that tip. And as you can see there's a zero, which says not calibrated. I've never actually checked the temperature on these things yet, I haven't actually done any actual checks on them, so we'll find out. I'll get this set up, and I'll come right back. Right, so as you can see, I'm kind of set up, you should be able to see both displays now, that's all good. So what you have to do is you push the knob in, and turn it to the left. Push it in, turn it to the left, and now you've got tip adjust. So you've got start, init and exit. So start, init means you wipe the calibration out completely and start again. Start means you'll start doing a calibration. So we want to do a calibration, so we'll do a start first. And it gives you three displays. Adjustment point, current temperature, real temperature. So it's, it's trying to calibrate to 448 degrees C. That's what it's essentially reading right now. And this is what we're really getting. So I need to adjust this to suit whatever we read on here. Now I'm going to get this. Tip. I'm going to put a bit of uh, solder on it so I've got decent heat conduction. And we'll put it on the thermocouple. And we'll see what we get. And I'm going to try different tip angles and stuff like that to be absolutely sure we've definitely got best conduction possible. So 397 is what we're getting there. Let's just try a different position. 397. So that's a long way off, long way off. So now we adjust this one down to 397. Excuse me, I'm sliding around in the iron because I'm not looking what I'm doing. That's miles off. 397 is just get the iron back in place just to be absolutely sure it's definitely stabilised to there. A bit more fresh solder. Just to make sure I've definitely got plenty of heat being transferred through. Uh, it's probably closer to 394 then. 395. Okay, go 395. Okay, 395. Set. Now I'll change to the next temperature down, which is supposed to be 352. So obviously the iron's going to cool down now. And we'll do the same thing again. So this one's looking closer. Change angles again just to make sure. 331. About 333. Just trying to see what it peaks at to. About 334 I suppose, right? So again, we're still quite a way down, but not as bad as it was on the other one. 334, 335, yeah, 334. Now we do it again for 250 degrees, 252. It's looking for now. So let's wait for it to drop down. Once it's done that, we'll set some temperatures on it manually and just confirm it looks about right afterwards. Let's just give this a clean actually. And put some more fresh solder on. Okay, so 244, 245. We'll just give it a minute to settle. Yeah, about 245. Okay. Well, I moved it on to 250, or not? Let's just check that again. Oh, there we 
we go, slightly better there. Right? So 248. Done. Okay. So now it's going to heat itself back up to the set temperature. Now I'm going to make sure that what we get on the meter matches. So that's looking a lot better, isn't it? 393, 394. Within a couple of degrees. Maybe 3 or 4 degrees out. So that's much better. So if I um, do that to go to 440 on here, you just turn the knob quickly and it'll to the right and it'll boost it. We'll see what this goes up to, see if it can reach that temperature or not. So even that is not really there, is it? 414, move it around a little bit. So yeah, there's still a long way out on that one, which is interesting on that boost mode. So maybe it's a thermocouple issue on in here, because these are just these are fake tips; they're not original tips, right? But um, so maybe it's part of the problem is that, is that it can't actually read that temperature high enough. This is supposed to do up to 600 degrees, so that should be capable of reading the temperature at least. Okay, let's turn the boost off. Let it drop back down. We'll bring it up and try and find if it's like a point where it just stops reading properly. So it could be the thermocouple that's in this tip. More fresh solar. Then we'll do another tip as well just to verify it. So around 390 is fine. So um, let's increase the temperature. So let's just go 400. See if we finally like get a point where it plays up or something. So 400 is looking alright. Push it again. Let's go. Let's just do 410. See that's not really going much above 400 is it? So I think it's probably a thermocouple thing there. No, it's kind of doing it but moving on around trying to get a sweet spot or something but no, that's that. 404. So I think it's the thermocouple in here which is causing that problem. So about 400 degrees on this particular tip is not that good. Okay, let's go down to say 300 or 320. There you go, let's do 320. I'll do one more check, then we'll do a different tip. We'll, we'll take this tip out and try a, a different one, which hopefully I've got in my list of tips which I have. I haven't put everything in there, I updated it properly, everything right, so we'll see. Here we go. Give it a chance to equalise, stabilise. Yep, they're pretty close, aren't they? So, around your normal temperatures, they look like they're fine. Okay, I'll stop this for a second and I'll find another tip. Okay, I found another tip which is very similar to the first one. This is a JSO2, so it's very similar indeed. Not quite the same, but it's there's a lot of style similarities. Okay, so we'll do the same thing with this one. We'll just can just repeat that same test. All right, um, and I want to actually set this normal temperature to be sort of round normally work about 390. So let's do this calibration. So actually, first I need to check the tip. So you can see the KU none now is showing us calibrate a lot of the previous tip. So now we need to push it, turn it right. And change the tip type. So you want the JS02, that one there we want. Choose that, which is now set up for this tip. And we shall repeat the process. So push it, turn to the left, calibration menu, start calibration. And just repeat it and just verify that this one also doesn't have similar issues above 400. Again, fresh solder. Again, these, these are all fake tips, they all came from the same place, so we're not quite sure what we're going to get there. Seems to be struggling to reach that one. This one's seemingly worse. Let's try more solder. So, 406 is kind of what we get in there. Alright, so bring it down 406. I think it's the thermocouple on these tips isn't very good. Okay, so I'll do the next one. It's a shame it doesn't have a couple more calibration points really, you know, say if you did like 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 
450, something like that, you know. So you actually had lots of steps, you could do a really nice calibration curve then to make sure it's correct. But So about 325 we're getting there. 328, I'll take that one. Okay, now doing 255 or thereabouts. Get it clean. Put some more fresh solder on. And then we'll do the verification as well afterwards to make sure it's okay. So you have to just do this for every tip you've got to make sure that they all you know pretty much line up. So it's still stabilizing. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. At 240. Okay. So that's gonna heat back up to 390 now. Let's see what we get. Fresh solder on, it's better. So there we go, 390 on both. That's pretty much bang on that one. So again, we'll do the same thing. We'll push it, go to 400. Yes, do 405. More fresh solder. Does actually make a difference to it. So that one there is reading slightly low. So yeah, I think it's a thermocouple in these are a bit weak. It's either that or it's a thermocouple on this, but it's supposed to be able to do it, it's specified as doing do it. Okay, I'll just maybe try a couple more tips off camera, and if I have any different results, I'll show you those ones. So I just calibrated this eye tip as well, which has got quite a fine point on it. This is one which I found performed really badly actually, it wasn't doing very well at all. It used to struggle quite badly. And um, I found out why is it is really about 30 degrees out, so that really wouldn't help. <laughs> so I've done a calibration on this is now much closer. So hope you found it interesting, and give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, share the video because I'm sure people want to know how to do calibrations on this thing, how to set up for the tips, that sort of stuff. If you haven't already watched my review video, make sure you go and watch that. You might find something interesting in there. It's also got a link to a manual which somebody wrote for it too. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time and see what else I've got around. Watch some more videos. I know you want to. Catch you later. So the first thing you have to do is change it to the correct tip. So what you do is you push it and turn it to the right. Push it and turn it to the right. Wake it up first maybe. <laughs>